Gu Kuan Ming, a prominent pro-independence figure and former advisor to Chen Shui-bian, has repeated his call for President Tsai Ing-wen to replace her increasingly unpopular Premier Lin Chen. Ku's comments, in which he warned the president that her approval ratings would continue to fall with Lin heading her cabinet, were echoed by the KMT, but a no-confidence vote in the premier still seems a ways off. In an interview aired on a local radio program, Gu Guaming, a major figure in the DPP, urged President Tsai Ing-wen to get rid of Lin Chuan, the head of her cabinet. If she continues with Lin Chuan, Tsai Ing-wen's approval ratings will continue to drop lower and lower. Lin Chuan is not a leader type, he's more of an aide. The KMT echoed Gu's comments, pointing to an online poll conducted by the party, showing that Lin's disapproval rating had reached 40 percent. KMT lawmakers are demanding a cabinet shakeup and have even floated the possibility of a no-confidence motion in the premier. But the party and its allies only hold 35 seats in the legislature, below the one-third threshold required to hold a full vote on such a measure. The key question is what side the DPP will take. If it decides to stand on the side of public opinion and is willing to hold a no-confidence vote, I think we will absolutely be able to work with them. I think the public should think over the reasons for supporting a no-confidence vote, just as the premier is gaining courage and settling into his job. If the vote fails, Lin Chen would get a renewed mandate and would be able to carry on in his post for another year. According to the Constitution, if a no-confidence motion directed at a given premier fails, the legislature is not allowed to propose or consider another such motion against the same premier for a period of one year after the vote.